So, hi guys. Today I actually got my order from Amazon. Um, I ordered the G-Shock watch and I uh, got it today. It came with, um, no, it was delivered by um, Canada Post. I actually forgot where it came from. Or was the location for, for the store, right? But um, it's been a while. It took a bit of time to arrive. And uh, I realized when I opened the box that um, it was not really, uh, what do you call this? You know how you, every time, this is my first um, G-Shock watch, so I know how it look like every time you get it, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure it's not the usual setup for the watch in the box, right? So I realized that I have everything. Yes, I have everything. And oh yeah, just I forgot when I got the bo uh, the watch, right? I opened the box. The box. I opened the box for the parcel, right? The parcel box. But this is this is how it actually came. The box was open. Yes, it was open. So I don't know who opened it and why it was open. So I was a bit um, wondering, like, I was a bit hesitant, not hesitant, but I was like wondering why it's open. Um, so what the first thing I did is I checked the box and then yes what you know how the every time you get this right normally the watch have uh, will be in like a sit a circle um, this kind of uh, material right the squishy whatever the the watch is always uh, wrapped on that circle thingy right it's should be like on it you know if I it's like it's it should have that circle squishy where the watch is sitting on and I didn't have it on here and as you can see as well you see that every time you get a watch you're gonna have this thing and with the paper attached to it with the model number of the watch and as I can see, I don't see any. I don't see anything. Some somebody took it off. So it was really open and somebody I don't know what he did, but the paper or the tag attached to this. And it's supposed to be a bit longer, right? It's not here. It's supposed to be longer with the paper on it attached to the watch. All I can see is this piece of the thread. Oh my god, the focus is not good. It was inside the box. So, everything, yeah, I have this. I have the paperwork, the warranty card, everything. I have everything except that squishy round, round like uh, thing that the watch is sitting on, right? I didn't have that, and the box was open. So, the, first, this, uh, the last thing I checked was the watch if there's any smudge or anything or damage on. So, luckily it didn't have any damage on it. Not even a single scratch, right? Especially on the, the surface or the interface of the watch. I checked, there was nothing. So, it was okay. Now, I'm gonna show you now guys. So, I'm gonna do an unboxing. Uh, well, not really unboxing. I'm just gonna show you how the watch look and what watch I ordered. So, as as I told you, I don't have the model number. Although I can check up on my phone. But uh, I just don't want the, I just don't want this to be too long. But okay, I can still open the Amazon app. I got this from Amazon, so I have a record. So the the model number, guys, is. DW5600 SK-1 So 
So I'm gonna show you. I oh my god, it's too bright, right? So yeah, that's the model number. So um this watch, so I'm gonna show you the watch now. So the watch is transparent. Like I don't know if there's a specific it's called smoky gray translucent bands. Oh it has it has that smoky gray translucent bands and gray metallic mirror face. Yeah, it's a mirror face actually. Mid-size digital digital model featuring the EL backlight. EL backlight. I don't know what it is. But yeah, so it's the Casio G Shock DW-500 SK-1 with clear bezel. So that's what I got. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the watch itself. So this is the watch. So this is the watch guys, as you can see. This is the watch. So as you can see, it's actually transparent. Clear bezel. Bezel. Ugh. I'm having a hard time on Z. Uh, so this is the watch, it's clear. Let's just say it's transparent. Yeah, so the interface is, uh, bezel is um, transparent and then the interface is mirror-like as you can see 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 it's mirror-like this is my second watch of this of this uh, kind or this um, design that has a mirror mirror face mirror-like face so yeah guys so as you can see right it's transparent and the good thing about this is the band is Kind of like it's called smoke smoky gray or smoke gray band right so it's not totally white right although it's transparent but it's um it's not like the vessel that it's white transparent right this one is a bit grayish like so it's good honestly i've been meaning to buy this watch since last year since la end of last year yeah I think it was November I was planning to buy this watch this kind of watch but I was really hesitant honestly because because of the design I like the design but I'm thinking how can I keep the watch as good as it is when I got it because the problem with the transparent design it has a tendency to become yellowish you know you know that yellowish effect color the every transparent uh, like let's say for a phone case right and it's transparent right it's a clear case sometimes it get yellowish and the problem about that is it's hard to really clean or restore I don't even know if you can restore that uh, if you're gonna have the the clear case becoming yellowish you know I don't think you can or you'll be able to restore the original color right or the original yeah appearance of the case so I was thinking the same with the watch right what if the band tends to be yellow or yellowish uh, it's gonna look really ugly and it's gonna really look messy if it happens so I didn't it's the only thing that was keeping me from buying this one but every time I go to Amazon and just um, check around I I keep on uh, seeing this watch and every time I see this watch it breaks my heart that that it, it breaks my heart thinking or having the thought why I don't have it right so I end up buying it so as you can see guys actually I have three other pairs of this kind this this not model but this kind of watch right so this kind of uh, face I have a black one a blue one and a yellow one yellow black one the yellow black one was a gift for my birthday last year it's really nice and but 
Well, I realize because I already opened it earlier. I can feel that the band is a bit thin. Yeah, it's a bit thin compared to the rest of the watch that I have. Other ones are a bit thick, I think. And this one is a bit bendy and thin. So I don't know, maybe it's because of the design of the watch, but it's okay. So I'm, guys, I'm gonna show you now how it will look on the hand, okay? Every time I try to watch a, a video of G-Shock watches or any kind of watches, right? I always wanna see how it look like on your wrist. So at least you know how it looks like, right? So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try to wear it. I'm gonna put it in the fifth hole from the top. So yeah guys, so this is how it looks. Right? Oh my god, it's so nice. See? You see? Oh my god, it's so nice. So this is how the watch looks like in your wrist. So you can see it's all good. Right? Oh my god, sorry my focus is playing around man. So yeah, this is how it looks like. I don't think it's big. Sorry, I'm on. I'm sitting on my bin bag, so I'm a bit like. So this is how it look like on your wrist, right? So I'm gonna do like this, so you can see properly. So as you can see, that's how it look like in my wrist. It's actually light. I like it. So as you can see, this watch, honestly, in my own opinion, I can wear it everywhere or anywhere, any type of occasion. Like, uh, I don't know if you see the same thing, but how, how I see G-Shock watches, they're a bit hypey or it's like, you know, those kind of watch like I, I don't know what to call that but it's like it's too bulky bright and what else it's like a sporty watch right so it's a bit awkward for you to be wearing a g-shop watch even if it's black it's a bit awkward to wear that in a let's say a formal event right so I wouldn't see myself wearing it even if the watch is black but this watch actually the reason to why I bought this is because I can wear it anywhere what I meant about anywhere is like I can just wear it in a sporty uh, look I can wear it even if I'm gonna be a bit um, formal right even a formal attire or corporate attire you can wear this watch that's how I that's for me that's my opinion on opinion because as you can see because of the design that it's a bit mirror like and as, as well as the uh, clear bezel plus the smoky gray band right it's classy it's classy it's uh, for me, it's classy, it's elegant, you can wear it anywhere, yeah. Like me, this is my favorite watch so far among G-Shock that I have. This is one of the best one I have. So, this one guys, I paid $180 Canadian dollars for this watch. I don't know what's the... Uh, I think for um, in peso Philippine money I think it's it's around six thousand it's around seven thousand dollars seven thousand pesos in the Philippines Philippine price if you convert it right so it's a hundred and eighty dollars watch from Amazon 
so well as you all know g snapper is always pricey right but yeah guys this is all i'm uh i want to share to you so i can't get myself on i keep looking because it's really nice it look good yeah it look good so yeah this is the watch guys so I'm telling you if you're planning to buy you should buy because it's really good it's really nice and it's unisex too you can who anybody can wear it right and it's not that big so as you can see it's not that big, so you can buy anyone can buy okay so yeah guys this is where I'm gonna end my video so I'm gonna put in the description where the link where I got this watch and the model number everything so at least you guys know and uh, I was actually planning to contact the seller for this one telling them how the package arrived and but when I saw the watch there's no damage or any anything especially with the mirror mirror interface there's no scratch so I don't think I would return this I wouldn't return it actually because I like it but it's just because I feel like I've been robbed because why it was open when it got here right so but there's no damage or anything and I don't think I smell the watch it didn't smell like somebody wore it so it's okay so guys this is where I'm gonna end my video so if you like this video uh, press like or hit the subscribe button so yeah guys this is where i'm gonna end my video and next time i'm gonna be having another video about watches or anything but most likely watches so if you like this order it okay so this is where i'm gonna end my video again so this is jill saying just chill bye